Today we are excited to show you the Cindy Broda Conservation Gallery, one of the main buildings that make up the Ellen DeGeneres campus of the Danfoss Gorilla family. the Cindy Broder Conservation Gallery with the gorgeous Sabino Volcano right over behind my shoulder. The Cindy Broder Conservation Gallery is really the public face of our Ellen campus. This is where community members, tourists, visitors can come and learn more about gorillas, about conservation in the region, about Diane Fossey herself, and just about the, the journey of this organization in helping Rwanda protect mountain gorillas. The Conservation Gallery is really one of the most beautiful buildings on the campus. It's our only two-story building. On the ground floor, we have the public exhibit. Then they can go upstairs. We have a gorgeous overlook, so they can actually enjoy the incredible scenery around. We've got six volcanoes in the region that they can see. It also has a cafe, so people can come, they can get a snack, they can eat. In our current office, we have a very small exhibit that we designed ourselves, and we know that people love to come and see it. We bring school groups through, tourists come through, but what we're really building here is a much more state-of-the-art exhibit. So it'll have a lot more interactive elements, um, it's bigger, we'll have movies, we'll have VR opportunities, but I think most importantly, it will really enable us to engage with local communities who right now we're very far from them, but by moving up next to the park, we'll be able to bring community leaders on, school groups on. The communities that live near the gorillas will be able to engage with us in a way that we haven't done before. We want it to be, to really live the mission of this campus. And the mission of the campus is to use gorillas as an entry point for a lifetime of conservation activism. We want people that come to visit us here to not just learn, but to feel inspired to engage in conservation.